I3. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my September TBR for 2023. If you're new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom always comes up with some game or theme or something and how she picks my TBR. So this month she created a game called I Read Bingo. She had a bowl of bingo numbers and I had to pick them out of the bowl and then mark off on the board. So I'll insert that footage now and you can see the ones that I picked and then we'll go through all the books that they corresponded with. So without further ado, let us get started. You ready? You are gonna play I Read Bingo. Here's your bingo card and you put an X in each one. Each square has a book assigned to it. When you get a bingo, that's your five books. This there you go. This is a bingo card. <laughs> I just pulled D5. So we're marking off D5. There you go. D2. I2. This is going to take forever. Yeah. Such fun. I can't play it with one hand. I5. It's just a, a square. R1. It's going to be the whole card. No, it's not. You have to get five in a row. A4. A4. We still have nowhere near. Ah! R3. I3. I1. Oh! We oh, only need I4! I4! I4 is going to be the only one I don't get. It's going to be the last one you pull. A2. Oh my goodness. R4. I don't like this as much as TVR. This is roulette. an awesome game. TVR roulette's better. A1. Each of the rows is also a category. E1. Oh, oh, yeah? D1. I just need D1. E3. I pulled 25 books, though. Why? This is more <laughs> work for you. But it's done. We can do this every month. No. DBR roulette. A5. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's another one almost done. R2. Are you kidding me? <laughs> can you not see that you have a thing there? Oh. I read bingo. You know what's interesting? You got one out of every single one of the categories. This? No, no, okay. Sneak peek. Yeah. What are the categories? No, don't. Stop looking at it. How fun. Each part of the bingo board had a category that went along with it. So the first category for the eye was mystery thriller. And the book that I got in my bingo was She Was the Quiet One by Michelle Campo. This follows a husband and wife who become dorm parents and a set of twins move into their dorm. One of the twins latches on to the wife and she kind of sees her as a mentor but then the other twin, Belle, latches on to the husband. It says, is Heath trying to help Belle or take advantage of her? Can Sarah step in or have they already set off a chain of events destined to end in murder? In a world of privilege, seduction, and manipulation, not everyone will live to tell the truth. We love a good mystery thriller on this channel so hopefully this is a good one. The next category was truth or lies so the book that I ended up getting in my bingo game was the truth beneath the lies. This is by Amanda Searchy and this is one that has been on my TBR a couple of times at this point and I just have not read it yet so hopefully this is the month that that happens. I think that this follows two girls who live very separate lives. It says that one is trying to get out of their life the other one is trying to fight for their life so I don't really know. It's a mystery thriller as well I believe but it says when Kayla and Betsy's lives collide the truth will set them free or bury them beneath their lives. One girl's present day horrors, one girl's haunting past. Maybe it's like the same girl. I don't know. We'll have to see. The next category was Lost. The book that I ended up getting is Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kremer. I've had this book on my TBR for like what feels like a hundred years so hopefully this is the time it actually gets read. I also believe that I have the sequel to this on my shelves too so maybe if I like this one I can just jump to that one. It follows a girl who loses her mother. She starts writing her letters but then a boy named Declan finds one of her letters and responds to it and then they end up like falling in love. I have read one Bridget Kramer book, Defy the Night, and I really liked it. This is a whole different genre so I'm interested to see what I think of her writing in this genre because I did really like it in the fantasy genre. I don't think this is fantasy. I think it's like a contemporary situation. So we'll see. The next category was jobs and I chose The Cleaner by Paul Cleave. I believe this is about a like serial killer who is kind of out of the business but then a murder happens that is very similar to the serial killer's like MO so he kind of comes out of retirement to figure out you know who's copying him. One of my buzzwords is serial killer so you know your girl can never get enough serial killers. It also says that it's funny so 
I'm, I'm intrigued to see a funny serial killer. And then the final category that she came up with was oldies but goodies and I think these are just books that have been on my shelf for way too long in her opinion. So the one that I chose was The Meaning of Birds by Jane Robin Brown. And I mean, this arc is from 2019, so she's definitely not wrong that it has been on my shelf for far too long. It follows two girls, Vivi and Jess, who fall in love, but then one of them dies and is kind of the other one dealing with that grief. And then the girl who is still living ends up meeting a different girl and kind of trying to navigate those feelings while still feeling the grief for Vivi. I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this because do I want to read a sad book right now? Probably not at this moment, but later on in September, hopefully. Alright everybody, so that was TBR Bingo. I read Bingo, whatever I end up calling this, that my mom made for my TBR. She actually pulled 25 books off of my shelf, so now I need to go put away the other 20 books because there was only five that I actually chose, so that'll be fun because I need to remember where they all go, because I don't know. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!